Okay, about a month back, I reviewed the Gymshark Camo Seamless version three with like that weird brick pattern, gorgeous orange color. Um, and I realized that I'd never actually fully reviewed the version two of the Adapt Camo Seamless range or even fully reviewed the version one of the Adapt Camo Seamless range. So for those of you who are Gymshark lovers and you want to know the differences between the three different ranges that have popped up. Now I've already done an in-depth review of the version three. So I will leave that video down below in the description box for you to go and check out. But we are going to get into the nitty gritty of the original Gymshark Adapt Camo Seamless leggings and the version two of of these leggings. Let's get to it. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Elaine. Welcome, welcome. I'm a certified weight loss coach, a fitness enthusiast who's your future personal trainer and an activewear lover. And today we are reviewing the Gymshark Adapt Camo Seamless Leggings, their version two, and doing a little bit of a mini comparison with my OG, my first love, Gymshark Adapt Camo Seamless Leggings. Now I have mentioned these in a Black Friday haul review that was done I think about almost two years ago but I never fully did like a comparison between the old line and the new line so that's really what I kind of want to focus on this video as well as giving you the regular schmegler information about these leggings as well if you find videos like this useful please make sure to smash that like and that subscribe button so you never miss an upload from me and if you're looking for my measurements they're down in this description box along with the timestamps for this video so that you can hop to the part that is most interesting to you and without further ado let's get on with this review and comparison okay so we are going to get into the general details of the adapt Campbell seamless version 2 leggings damn I am looking I'm looking thick we loving it okay anyway <laughs> Seriously, I'm, I'm absolutely ridiculous. So we've got about a four inch waistband um, with these leggings. There's no front seam. We've got the stamped on Gymshark logo. And these leggings, I believe are about a 26 inch inseam on me. I do have a little bit of extra fabric, but of course I gotta hike everything up so that it sits properly on me. And of course we've got this gorgeous camel pattern all throughout in this kind of cherry brown savanna patterning when we turn to the back to the back to the back of these leggings we do have a very pronounced booty scrunch which we will um, talk about and apart from that that's really it there's no logo at the back or anything like that it's just the pattern continues at the back now when we take a look at the original the og Ooh, Gymshark Adapt Camo Seamless Leggings. Um, one thing that you will notice immediately is the waistband is actually slightly different. So with this waistband on the original, the waistband was actually kind of a marl patterning versus now the camel goes all the way up. And I find that this, um, the original leggings, they had actually a thicker waistband than the most recent Adapt Camo adaptations. So I always felt more held in in these this version than I did this. Also, they had a much nicer logo on the original Adapt Camo seamless leggings. Like you can see that the Gymshark logo was actually sewn, like embossed into the fabric. And now we just go back to the crappy old stamped on logo that usually falls off within a year of washing and not even really consistently wearing it. So I do think that these were actually a nicer quality because your logo could never fall off. You knew that it was an authentic Gymshark piece because Gymshark is literally sewn into it, which I thought made it really unique. And then when you look at the back of these leggings, the originals, the, um, the booty scrunch is actually a little bit thinner on the original leggings. And I found that the booty scrunch on the original leggings actually sat in my crack and like sat a little bit lower down on me. So it didn't give the booty hole effect as much as the most recent Adapt Camo seamless launches. So it is honestly kind of a tragedy because honestly, if they were going to do anything about this booty scrunch, they should have just gone into making it the hidden booty scrunch like they did with the Whitney Simmons launches as well as the Gymshark Power our leggings. So that is kind of like the overview comparison. Um, apart from that, there isn't too much of a difference. I did notice that the camo splotches on these leggings um, on the V2 are a bit more pronounced than they were on the V1, but that might also be because I've had these 
you know, now I think two or three, actually probably three years. And these are brand new. So maybe the, um, the colors just kind of faded a little bit with the wear and tear, because I was definitely wearing these at least once a week when I initially got them for the sizing. These are very true to size. They hold me in. They fit me honestly quite perfectly. Yes, I do have a little bit of excess crotch fabric, but that's to be expected with me being four foot 11. If you're someone who's between sizes and you hold more weight in your midsection, you're going to want to size up because the waistband is a solid medium, potentially medium high compression. So it does hold you in. It does cinch you in. The downside is if you're someone with a short torso and it doesn't really sit at your lower belly, you are going to kind of get a little bit of a belt effect and a little bit of muffin top. So you're definitely going to want to size up if you hold more weight in your midsection. Speaking of the lower belly control, if you're someone where this hits at your lower belly, yes, you're going to get a little bit of lower belly control, but if it sits in your midsection, it is what it is. Do I think that it's a flattering waistband? Yes, I've always found the Gymshark Adapt Camo Seamless um, waistbands to be quite flattering. The problem for me and a lot of women who are a little bit shorter is usually the fact that it doesn't hit us in the right spot, AKA it doesn't necessarily start right at our lower belly without us having to scoot it down and get a bunch of excess fabric. So for camel toe with a thong, I'm good with underwear, you're getting low camel toe. <laughs> if you are not wearing underwear and you decide to go commando like I usually do, yeah, expect expect to have camel toe. I don't know what it is. I think it might be just my vaginal anatomy. Let's be real. Actually, yes, I think it is my vaginal anatomy. I often get camel toe when I am commando, but like, I feel like in Gymshark leggings, I get like more horrendous camel toe than I do in other leggings. And I don't know why. I think Gymshark and I like just sometimes, you know, my coochie doesn't vibe with however they decide to sew their crotch. That's it. But if you're going to wear underwear, you're completely golden. For sweat and functionality, I'm going to actually give this kind of like a low medium sweat coverage just because it really depends on where you get this patterning. So if you end up getting like a bunch of like dark splotches and dark and white camel at the crotch area, you're not going to really notice the sweat um, because you have the pattern distracting away from it. Like I find that these are my most sweat friendly, one of my most sweat friendly leggings just because whenever I did sweat, it just looked like it was part of the pattern. But if you do end up having like a big white patch or like a completely like brown patch, like a solid patch of color, you will definitely notice the sweat pooling in the crotch area. Now, when it comes to the peach rating, okay, I am going to give these like a medium. I'll give them a solid medium. If you're wondering, well, Elaine, your butt looks really good. Cause I'm looking in the viewfinder. Um, my butt is now 41.5 inches. Yay. We're still going to mention that guys. I am so proud of that. I'm going to mention that in every single video going into the new year. I'm sorry. It is what it is, but, um, yeah, my booty is just big. So these, these are not really enhancing it. And I think that's why, why I'm kind of disappointed in the V2 and the V3 launch because the V1 launch, when it first came out, I was so excited because like this butt scrunch technology that they had going on actually did make my butt, like my glutes look more separated and it made my glutes look really, really good. But with these, I just kind of feel like you know, the fabric is stretched. It's just really kind of sitting there. It looks like an asshole. It's literally sitting on top of my asshole. Like it's not digging deep in. If you're wondering what I mean by digging deep in, go and look at any of my Alpha Lead Amplify videos where I've mentioned Alpha Lead Amplify um, or any of the Alpha Lead Amplify dupes. You'll notice that the butt scrunches for those leggings for the lack of a better term, literally kisses your asshole, okay? It gets deep in there so that it separates your glutes and makes your booty look like, you know, two little peaches that are plump. But with the Gymshark leggings, when they have this butt scrunch booty thing or the, the booty hole butt scrunch, it just, it doesn't get in there and it doesn't separate as nicely. Oh, and keep in mind, I have popped the booty scrunch on two Gymshark leggings before um that was the original adapt animal seamless collection so we don't talk about that anymore but i generally just like don't vibe with how gym shark does their butt scrunch and i think that they need to improve it the improvement was the hidden butt scrunch in the whitney simmons leggings that they now put in the gym shark power leggings so i'm really hoping that going into the new year they're going to start putting that hidden butt scrunch technology in more of their leggings because this really just ain't it and i do not care who, how good you look in the gym. It still looks like a butthole. Fight me on that in the comments if you want to fight, but like it literally still looks like an asshole to me. That's just my opinion.
Okay, so now that I'm done being dramatic, that's a lie. We are going to do the squat test. So with these leggings, especially in this colorway, it is definitely squat proof. I think even if you are of a lighter complexion, you can 100% go um, commando in this and you are not going to see your skin through. These are a thicker legging, just like the originals. I really loved wearing the uh, um, OG Gymshark Camo seamless leggings in the winter and in the fall because I could literally walk outside in downtown Toronto when it was like, it was snowing and I would not, when it was snowing with the wind chill, oh God, that wind chill, and I would be completely fine. These are really thick leggings, so they are great for the cooler months. Now, getting into the cellulite. So this is cellulite friendly. You can usually see my cellulite around here. Um, depending on how the patterning is and where you're, how much your cellulite shows, mine usually only shows during hip hinging movements. This is cellulite friendly to cellulite proof. For me, I would consider it cellulite proof just because, you know, you won't see my cellulite even when I am like scrunching up my butt. But if you do end up getting one of those leggings that just has like a random patch of solid color, you may be able to see your cellulite through it. But I do think that it is one of the more cellulite friendly leggings. And I do believe this was actually part of my top five cellulite friendly leggings video, just because it is a textured fabric and it does have a pattern, which are two things that will distract away and hide your cellulite. The current Adapt Camo Seamless V2 leggings are $80 Canadian when they're not on sale. When they are on sale, they're now going for 50% off. So definitely worth it when it's on sale. When it's not on sale, personally, at, as a V2 legging, I personally wouldn't invest the full amount. I think that if you are someone who had the V1 leggings, you are going to be disappointed in this, especially the butt scrunch. I think that they really messed it up. If I was to choose between the V1, the V2, and the V3, I would literally rank it like this. V1, V3, and then V2, because I just think that the V2, they messed it up with the booty scrunch, and at least with the V3 leggings, the brick pattern, it's unique, the colorways are gorgeous, and it does have the pseudo seam, so you're getting away from this gross ass asshole butt scrunch that they've decided to put in a lot of their adapt line now. So that's just my opinion there. I don't think that these are worth it full price, and I do think 100% you'll be able to find them on Posh Poshmark, Facebook, and or um, Reddit at a discounted price if you are wanting to get them. This colorway is gorgeous for sure. I just know that after or having two of the booty scrunches on Gymshark leggings pop on me, I do not trust the quality enough to invest $80 Canadian or $60 USD in these leggings anymore. I don't think that personally, in terms of quality, they are worth it anymore since, keep, keep in mind, I've had these for three years since the V1 leggings, the quality, in my opinion, for the Adapt Camel leggings has gone down, and that's just been my personal experience, considering I already popped two of the booty scrunches. Yeah. You made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate you and your time. If you found this video useful, Leave a camel emoji down below and make sure to smash that like and that subscribe button so that you never miss an upload from me. Let me know your thoughts on which one of these leggings is your favorite. For me personally, I do really love the original Adapt Camo Seamless leggings just because they were innovative and the butt scrunch I think sat better on my body than the most recent Adapt Camo um, Seamless leggings, but but I will say that with the V3, I do like how they went back to a pseudo seam, but at the same time, the fact that they changed, I'm so pissed at Gymshark for this. I'm gonna forever rant about this. If you're tired of me ranting about the fact that Gymshark does not know how to name their collections, you can skip this part. But like, why could they not just say, this is version three, this is version two, and this is version one. They literally took the butt scrunch out of the most recent Adapt Camo seamless leggings, but they're still calling them the Adapt Camo seamless leggings, like for what? For what? Oh my God, anyway, I'm done. I'm, I'm gonna keep complaining about it. I'm hoping that one day someone from Gymshark will see this video and be like, you know what, she has a point. We should probably start differentiating between the, our collections when we keep changing them. I'm gonna hope.
Y'all better send that energy. Get someone from Gymshark to see this video so they can start properly naming their collections because it's actually starting to drive me batty. If you're looking for ways to support me, pop into the link in my description box or go to www.fitnessbeyondaesthetics.com where you'll find discount codes to save you some coin while you are shopping as well as you can find my one-on-one -on -one weight loss consultation calls as well as my one-on-one -on -one weight loss coaching calls and or life coaching calls and you will find my Amazon finds and anything else that you could possibly need. Always remember that your fitness goes beyond your aesthetics. It's not just about how good you look. It's important to make sure they feel good mentally, emotionally, physically, and sexually as well. Watch the other videos that are on the screen and I'll see you in our next video. Bye.